you a buster. What is up everybody, it's God Ors, and today I got a cool little review for you. Today I got Transformers Generations Road Buster. So basically, this is Road Buster, and he's actually my first, actually, Road Buster figure, so that's pretty cool. And he's a wrecker. And I'm so happy I got this figure because when I went into Target, I just went in there to get like some, you know, centrals and all that. And then I went to the toy area and I seen him and he was actually the last one, which is really cool. And I didn't want to order him off of the internet. So yeah, I got lucky. But without further ado, let's get into this review. All right, guys. So basically, here's Roadbusters um, packaging, you know, simple, simple, just like all the other Transformers Generation figures. Transformers Generations up there has a nice little clip art of him. Then it has a nice little warning label, Thrilling 30 2014 Transformers, and it has a little Little intermediate level right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Then it reads his name and then has a nice cool little Autobot symbol. And he has customizable weapons, which is really, really cool. And if you turn this aside, there's really not that much. Same thing on the front. Roadbuster, big old Autobot symbol, series two, and a nice little picture of Roadbuster down there, number eight of the line. And if you turn it to the back, you guys get some cool, cool, cool stuff. So there's Roadbuster in his robot mode, vehicle mode. I guess that you can call that his stats right there. And if you guys want, here's his bio, which you guys can pause the video to read. And if you turn it to the bottom, here is Skybite, which you guys can also pick up. Well, time to get this record out of packaging. Is there any specific reason why you have so many stickers? All right, guys, so I got Roadbuster out of packaging, and he looks freaking splendid awesomeness. And I'm really, really liking this guy. He looks so cool. I'm really liking that orange, brown, and green. It's like off-roady, nice, and just built for this figure like the colors even though he's a big figure the colors even makes it stand out more so i'm really really liking that and also his stickers also make him stand out way way more and let's not forget all his amazing weapons but anyways here's roadbuster in his vehicle form and it looks really nice um let me just take his guns out because you know you guys don't want to see that you guys don't want to see his guns while he's in vehicle mode or whatever maybe you guys do but um yeah here he is and he looks really really cool let me just focus that up a little bit for you guys um there he is really nice you guys can see how he has all those cool little autobot symbols right there i gotta get a better camera all right so there you guys go just really really nice and basically i could honestly maybe say he's an off-road truck which is really cool i would really picture him being off road chuck you know road buster you know that pretty goes good with him and i'm just really really liking it so basically for the detail as i have to put on all these little stickers as you guys can see he had like 23 billion but i don't think he had more than world world had so many stickers it wasn't even funny but i'm basically yeah you guys can see this is the hood of the truck and all this stuff and it looks really nice and then the thing that really really sets me off for this dude is this right here i like that right here it's like basically supposed to be a pull cable so that you know it shows he's maybe like a rescue truck or an off road truck and that's just really cool and just a paint job and the sticker on the side is really really nice and then his rims don't forget his rims those are really cool even though they're just playing great they still pop if you guys can see that just really nice and then you guys can see that yellow or it's like not yellow it's kind of orange i don't know why it's popping up yellow i see yellow and i'm just yeah really really nice i'm really liking it the back could have been done better better to like seal this off like it would have been better if they sealed that off but eh, not a big deal and then again the same thing on the other side get into some detail by the way guys <laughs> you guys can see all that and then he has these little mech these little ports i guess you guys can say mech tech ports i guess dark of the moon here <laughs> so yeah there's some mech tech ports right here and there is one right there but it seems i might have something broken in there what oh well and then again there's some up here up top which is really cool and some more on that side and yeah and then something that really sells it off for me is the top i'm really really liking that you know the little engine parts really really cool and then the way they just did the mold on this guy is really cool it just really reminds me of springer for some reason i don't know why um just really really cool and then the indentations and stuff in the mold is just really cool. And if you guys look in the front, I don't know why, but it just reminds me of a grandpa. It just looks old and big, but still really strong. But that's really, really cool. And yeah. And also, if you guys want to see some cool size comparison of when he is in his um, car mode, here is my little cool Bumblebee, which I really, really like. Classics, by the way. And you guys can see that this guy is freaking huge compared to Bumblebee. Huh, not a big deal. But then again, if you guys want, here he is next to Dead End. Uh, I think his name, I can't remember right now, but um, yeah, so there's the all three size comparison right there in car mode, so that's pretty cool. As you guys can see, he's like kind of cool, you know, the shaping with this is really cool, or the scale, my bad, is really good with those two, but this guy's just out of the scale, it's don't even mind, but um, yeah, you guys can get a good little feel of how the scale is working with that. Alright guys, so let's transform this guy, so basically what I do first is I just 
pull everything apart. Basically, I just pull down his arms right here, which come down. And you guys can go around to the other side, pull down his other arm. And they kind of peg in, so it's going to be a little bit hard. So you guys can just pull those down, pull that around. Then um, if you guys want, you guys can come up to this top portion right here and actually come along here and pop out his feet, which actually just come out. And it's a real easy transformation, I would say. And um, you guys can come around here. Pull apart his feet, then uh, bring that down, twist it around, bring it down. There he goes his feet. Pop in that wheel piece if you want. Then you guys can come around right here, pop down that feet again, piece, and then pop in that wheel piece. And um, yeah, so basically there is his feet. And then basically for the top part, all you guys want to do is come around to his arms, make sure they kind of uh, come out a little bit like this, and they just pop back up. And then um, to go to this piece right here and kind of undo it if you guys can, so where his arms pop down, go to the other side, same thing, make sure the arm piece pops up both sides go to the side of them right here and make sure this kind of comes undone it's like it re it's really tabbed in and that comes undone and then um yeah so basically what you guys want to do for the last part is come around here and just drop this down ah my bad make sure the arms don't get in the way drop it down and click that into place you won't hear it click but you'll hear like a, a, a kill a fill little push into it so you feel that and there you have roadbuster transformed and he looks freaking awesome okay guys so i have roadbuster with his weapons and in his transformation robot mode and he looks so freaking awesome basically this guy is weapons packed almost just like world world had a lot of guns this guy has a lot of guns world had a lot of stickers this guy has a lot of stickers i'm loving this dude and first off basically he comes with about one two three four five and maybe an accessory piece to go on one of his guns so that's really cool um he does come with a lot of stuff he has a little fire mechanism mechanism which i will get into and he just looks awesome so let's get into some detail and articulation okay guys so basically you guys can see um Roadbuster looks really, really cool with his guns and whatnot. Just looks like a big, buffy, chunky dude. And, you know, I will expect that from him because he is a wrecker, which is really cool. And I'm just really, really liking that. This dude is awesome. You guys can see all the cool detail in his chest. I love that big um, Autobot sticker that I stuck on. They did have a wrecker's... Um I guess, I think it was the Wreckers uh, sticker, this decal right here that I could have stuck on right there, but I went with the Autobot. looks way better to me. Um, just really, really amazing. Um, you guys can see all this cool, really, really cool generations feel to it, so I'm really liking that. You guys can see his arm pieces. Let me just give you a 360 of the top portion real quick. So that's pretty cool. You guys see his little um, arm cannon missile thing right there. And you guys can see the back, all this cool little sticker sheets right there. And you keep turning, you guys see all this cool stuff. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, he does have some translucent plastic right there. And um, I forgot, up top too. So that's really cool. And just really, really awesome. You guys can see that mech tech port again right there. And just really, really cool. And nice. And if you guys go in lower to the bottom, you guys can see all the cool detail into this guy. Just really cool and amazing. I'm really liking it. I don't know why. He's just really cool. All these stickers make him pop. And plus him being just a big, chunky dude with his nice, cool paint job is really cool. So you guys can see all that. And his engine parts right there as his um, legs, which are really, really cool. And I'm really liking that. And just really beefy dude. Just a nice, big, beefy dude. I'm really, really liking that. And here's a better look at his face, if you guys can see that. Really nice. Um, you know, they did they kept to the um same orange, brown, and green to him. But the only thing that they could have done better is gave him some light piping in there. But there's no light piping. It's just painted green. You know, not a big deal if you guys come to the back. Um, you know, I guess you guys can say this is light piping. But there's a green piece in there, so you guys can't really see it. I don't know. It's just not cool to me. And now for some articulation. So basically with his head, you guys can see he's on a ball joint. He can look left to right, which is really, really cool. Backs up some down a little bit, I guess. If you guys go to his arms, his arms can go in and out and can actually go up this pretty dang high, really high. Then he can go down on a little ratchet piece right there. So that's pretty cool. And, um, you know, these things right here kind of wiggle, but it's not really articulation. You, I guess you could count that, but I wouldn't count it. And then um, he does have some double articulated kind of um, elbow joint right there. So you can bend it up, then bend it again. So that's pretty cool. And it's like really, really cool. And I'm really, really liking that. So then the bottom part, you guys can do that. And, um, you know, it has a little ratchet joint at the bottom, but not at the top, not a big deal. And then up his hands, um, really no articulation. His hands just molded there. And you guys go to the other side, um, you know, same thing, double articulation with a little bit ratchet joint right there, which is really cool. And then the hands are molded on again. And if you guys go into his waist, um, no waist articulation, not a big deal, but you know, these do move to where his feet can go, um, up. So that's pretty cool. And it's really, really tight. 
um, you know, have a little click in there, so that's pretty cool. Um, feels like mine is about to break. I hope you don't break, bro. Please don't break. Oh, one thing I actually forgot to do is this is why uh, this is why he's like kind of messing up. Before you guys even um, transform out, you guys gotta turn these things in. I forgot about that. Sorry. And you guys just put that put that back down in there, and it clicks in. And um, yeah, so his legs have a little ratchet joint. You know, can go up and down, same sides, up and down. Really, really cool. Go up and then bend at the knee. Actually, it's a double. Um, what's that's what I'm gonna tell you. It's a double. You know, double um jointed. So it has a ratchet joint at the top, but not at the bottom. Well, kind of at the bottom, and that's really cool. And then at the foot um really super articulated if you guys can see that really articulated you know ratchet joint right there can go a little 360 action right there same with the other leg you know ratchet joints in here and this lee and then at the bottom you know i'm um, super articulated to where it can go farther and move around so that's really really cool and i'm really really liking this figure a lot and he just screams out buffness Time to hop in his gun. So guys, basically here's his other gun. Really, really nice. Has a cool little scope on it. Um, actually, this is the first gun, my bad. And it really looks cool. It gives you that nice human look to it, which is really cool. Um, really nice. It has a little clip right there. And you guys can see all the indentations. So, you know, he has a little scope on there too. And if you guys don't even want to have the scope on it, kaboom. You guys can just have a cool little rifle without the even without the scope so that's pretty cool and if you guys want the scope you guys can just pop that back on and it just looks really really cool and the cool thing about the scope is you guys can take this off and put on other guns so that would be pretty cool which i will show you guys then here's his little um cannon fire thing i don't know rocket launcher rocket side piece i don't know what this thing is called but it's really cool it's actually pegs into so it's another weapon which is really cool um kind of hollow in the back but not a big deal actually kind of a repaint of worlds um he has one which is really cool um really cool and then you guys can see the cool paint job that they did on it really cool i'm really liking it i like how they painted it inside you know they could have just left it green but they went the extra mile and painted it which is really cool and there is his shoulder cannons which really are cool um they kind of remind me of alien versus predator where you know the predator has those cool arm cannons and they actually you guys can take them out which is really cool uh, stand up for me man you guys can take them out like so and they're actually two cannons so you guys can take that out and they're actually two and you guys can plug this one in if you want and um something cool if you guys don't want it to sit on top you guys can actually plug it in on the side and have a side cannon or side action right there so that's pretty cool and if you guys don't want it that way you guys can actually do it vice versa where you can plug this in on the top which you know looks kind of dope if you guys was like pew pew then you guys like us oh, front action pew pew i guess i don't know it's just really really cool then for his last weapon it's just a big old missile looking thing so it's really cool it's just one big gun and it actually can fire a missile which is pretty cool and here is how you fire it you guys can actually just let me just unplug it because i don't it's just so much harder so you guys can take this first look at the detail really really nice take that and fire it and it actually goes pretty far because i lost it like twice already so i'm gonna try not to lose it again but it's really cool just a solid black missile piece if you guys can see really really nice and just pull that trigger out and it comes out really cool and here's the gun really cool i love the paint job on it that black really makes it stand out to me and for the final construction if i do this right and there are many ways you guys can do that if you guys don't want you guys can actually take this scope off and plug it into other guns like i said like boom he has a scope on this one take that off and then put it on this one he has a scope on that one which is cool and kind of if you want you guys can actually stick the scope on the side which is really cool so that's pretty cool but um to actually do the final creation what you guys want to do is take that scope off get this gun right here then get this gun right here which is really cool and it just clips down into each other so he has a cool big mega gun if you will and then you guys can actually if you want um come around here um, I you could either it's an either or thing you guys can either plug this in on the side like so but it'll be facing kind of up or you guys can plug it up top I would probably go with up top maybe or vice versa where you guys can actually get this gun and plug it in like on the bottom it's like so many ways you can do it so you guys can do that or just leave it alone so I'll just plug it in on the side like that you guys can have this gun like so then you guys can get Disa gun right here this little one right here and actually plug it in on the top if you want like I said or on the side if you guys will so you guys can plug that in on the side but um I'll just guard that then you guys can actually get this little actually you know we'll just get this little gun and plug it up onto the side which I mean the top which looks cool then you guys can get this little rocket piece right here which looks really cool and plug that in right there on the side so he has this is like a freaking decepticon killing machine right here so you guys can see all that really really cool really looking nice and then you guys can get this right here and actually plug that in boom right there or if you guys don't even want like i said you guys can take the scope off and plug it in up top and there you have this cool gun but it kind of looks like overkill if you guys 
well and you guys can just plug it in right here and there you have this cool ass gun and last but not least here is generations roadbuster compared next to generations wing blade fall of cybertron bumblebee and last but not least generations drift and as you guys can see roadbuster towers over all of them which he should because he is amazing and he is big and he is awesome but again thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe it is scott or saying peace out subscribe, subscribe.